Hey, what's up? If you're using the Allen Heat CQ18T to record into Studio One Five Artist, I'm gonna show you how to set up your uh, tracks if you've never done it before. So you'll click right here if it didn't say CQ, and you go up here and you'd select CQ out of your list. But I'm gonna leave it there. I'm just gonna hit cancel because it was already set that way, and I don't want to reassign it. So I'll go over here to New Song. It's gonna pop up. It's already gonna be on the title. I'm gonna put CQ setup. Uh, all right, CQ setup, and I'm gonna hit okay. Sample rate is 96 kilohertz. See that right there? I want 24 bit resolution. Okay, boom. Doing that, it's gonna set me up. So now I'm gonna go up here to song, right up here. Click on that, come down to the bottom, the one second from the bottom, song setup. And then I'm gonna go over here to audio IO setup. These right here, this LR, M, M on left and right, I don't need any of that, so I hit delete. Delete, delete, okay? So now on my inputs, I have two mono inputs. So I hit add mono, add mono. There's input one is channel one, input two is channel two. So then I have two stereo inputs, so add stereo. So input three is now three and four. So now you're not lined up with your input three to output three or channel three, whatever, because now input three is channels three and four, not just channel three. So now we have a second uh stereo channel and then i have all monos all the way through 16 and then i have another stereo channel for 17 18 now i'm gonna go up here to outputs i'm gonna i'm not going out of there i'm going out 17 and 18 to the uh to the usb stereo in and then i'm gonna apply all that and then i'm gonna hit okay so now when i come up here and hit t for track and i say vocal because that's my first mono channel and it's in input one. And I just hit okay. So it's set up ready to go. I can arm this track and then give it a little tap, tap, tap on the mic and you see the meter bridge coming up, you know it's there. So I'm gonna disarm the track because I'm not recording right now, I'm just setting up. So now I'll hit T again, that opens up track. It's already on the title. I'm gonna say uh, drum or piano. All right, the piano is input three and four, which or it's input three, which is channel three and four of the mixer. Well, I don't see input three here. Oh, it's because I'm on my mono format. So I got to click here and go to stereo. And then it's all right on input three because that's the first stereo input. So I hit okay. Piano set up. So now I'll hit track. I say drum. Um, drum. That's a mono input. And it's coming into channel 11 on the mixer, which is input 9, because the two stereos kind of take away some of those channels. All right, so then track for bass. That's a mono. That's coming into channel track channel 15 on the mixer, which is input 13 on there because of the two stereos. Now guitar, watch this, gang. I'm also putting that one into that same channel. Now, how am I going to do that? Um, the reason I can do that is because we're not, I'm not doing a live session. This is a tracking session. So I'm going to start with the piano or the guitar. So I'm only going to enable this one. So now there's nothing recording into the space track. So I'll have this channel set up. I'll go over here to my, my plugin, you know, and, uh, for on my guitar, I'll put, uh, I like the Mesa Boogie on it. That's the one I love to use the most. Um, I know it's loading. I got a, about a three-year-old HP with only eight gigs of RAM, but it does pretty good. So I'm all set up because this is a preset saved setting. So now I just click off of that because I know it sounds how I want it to sound. Um, Click off of that, and then when I get ready to record the bass, I'll just unplug the guitar from the the guitar, the cable from the guitar, and plug it into the bass, and then I'll be set up for the bass. And I'll go in and over here, and I've got bass amps. I got all kinds of different amps. Um, matter of fact, might as well just go. Let's just see it live in real time. Um, so I'll put a bass cabinet. I got all these cool uh, cabinets over here. But here's these bass amps. Man, let's try this orange. I just really want to try this orange. 
So I'll click on it and boom, we got the orange. So I'm not even gonna go into the settings of that right now, but it's set up there. So when I arm this one, I'm recording the bass through that orange head. When I arm this one, I'm going the guitar through that Ms. Boogie head. The drum set up on the rolling electronic drum kit over there. <clears throat> it's right here. So I got the uh, TD-20 going to the uh, CQ-18T. And then it comes in here. So that's set up. And then the piano is set up over here. Um, it's the Roland Juno DS. It's it's pretty good. I like it. It's a pretty good. Uh, it's really good for if you want something that's got pianos and strings and synths and maybe some percussive stuff for add-ins. Um, it's pretty cool. It's it's definitely worth what you pay for it. They're not expensive at all. So it's pretty good setup. But anyway, neither here nor there. I'll get out of that. But anyway, that's how you set up your channels. So now I'm set up for a session.